Hey, hey, Eagles. Welcome back to school and welcome to the first Walnut Weekly of the year. Hey, seniors. It's time to get started on college applications and Walnut has a, whole, has a host of resources for students to use in their application process. The Writing Center in room 3301 is a great place to submit common application essays and any supplemental materials for review. Dr. Carlton Ford, along with Mr. Cheeseman, on Thursdays are there to help students write without fear and edit without mercy. Seniors can submit essays to the tray at the entrance and pick them up the next day or make an appointment via email with an essay attached on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The College Information Center is open in room 3101 for all college questions and concerns. Seniors can make appointments to meet with Ms. Whited on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to discuss the college application process, any recommendation letters, and anything else they may need to know. Check your email for information on the senior forum and pick up your transcript from the office if you haven't already. College visits are happening every day in the conference room 2210 during the first lunch. College representatives from schools around the country will be there to provide information about school programs, scholarships, opportunities, and will be there to answer any student questions. Information about the dates that colleges are visiting can be found on the WHHS Student Body Schoology page. This information is also sent to your CPS email. The homecoming theme this year is Moonlit Magic and will be taking place on October 7th at Southfield inside of an in event tent. The dance will go from 8.30 to 11.30 and the doors will be closing at 9. Tickets may be purchased online from September 25th to October 6th or in person from October 4th to the 6th. The dance is available to 10th, 11th, and 12th grade students and guest permission slips need to be turned in by October 4th. Our annual club fair took place during all three lunches on September 6th. Walnut is home to a dozens of clubs with many students joining multiple each year. But this year, things worked a little differently. In order to become a club member, parents must go to finalforms.com to sign into an account and sign their student up for each club or sport they take part in. This comes with an additional $25 fee that grants you access to any club on campus. Your Walnut Hills Eagles play the West Claremont Wolfpack on Friday, September 8th. It was a well-fought game. Walnut lost to West Claremont 28-7 in a heartbreaking defeat. The Eagles played very well. Chris Potts, number 12, the freshman quarterback, managed to run it in and put up six for the Eagles. Walnut's candidate fair took place on Wednesday, September 13th in the library, organized by the Social Studies Department. The annual fair brought together all the candidates on the November ballot. Many students spent their lunch bell visiting the library to learn about the candidates, signing up for volunteer to a campaign, or to get volunteer hours for government classes. On Friday, September 1st, DEI council members gathered in the Black Box Theater to officially commence their duties for the year. During a lengthy four-hour meeting, both students and faculty met with alumni and welcomed Dr. Bluzat Marshall as a distinguished guest speaker. Dr. Marshall, an alum of Walnut Hills, shared her expertise gained from her role as the Vice President in the Office of Equity and Inclusion at the University of Cincinnati. She offered insight on topics such as student outreach and provided guidance to ensure a successful year ahead. Applications for council positions were distributed in May, with many new positions introduced. Additional opportunities for membership may arise in January, but in the meantime, the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Council is excited and prepared for another amazing year. The theater department has rising social media accounts. The Instagram account has just about 1,000 followers, followers, and the TikTok page has over 7,000. Both pages are overseen by Mike Sherman, one of the theater department heads, and managed by senior Lizzie River. The Instagram and Facebook accounts were created back in 2013, while the TikTok was only created recently. All three social media accounts were created to advertise auditions, promote shows, and assist in creating a community around the theater department. The Laramie Project will be the first show of this theater season. This is a unique show because it will take place at two separate times. Part one will be performed by the high school cast and part two by the Advanced Theater 2 class. The dates for part one will be November 2nd at 7 p.m. and November 4th at 2 and 7 p.m. Part two will be on December 9th at 7 p.m. and December 10th at 2 and 7 p.m. Both shows will take place in the back Black Box Theater and the cast and crew is hard at work to make this a great production. The choral department is also busy preparing for their fall performance, which is October 26th. For this performance, each choir is performing at least three pieces of music, which averages out to being about 30 pages of music for each. Let's take a look into how the choirs learn their notes. Like the In choir, students work together to create a larger work of art. 
In order to do so, each person must learn to read music, a language of its own. According to Anthony Nims, one of Walnut's two choral directors, this process begins early on. So we start learning how to do this, as, as you know, from seventh grade. We teach them the fundamentals of rhythm, and we do lots and lots of practice. Then we build on those fundamentals, and we like use that to learn our music. The reason is, if you want to do music that's more than just sort of a catchy melody, you have to be able to learn it faster than that. And having those fundamentals of how to read music and how to learn music means we can learn complicated repertoire in a couple of weeks instead of multiple months. Once the fundamentals of reading music are in place, students are able to use these skills to create the piece of music itself. Well, if we're in one of our upper level groups, I tell them the number of measures they should be looking over. So say measure one through measure 20, and then I say go. And they turn into each other and they start speaking through all of the notes with the correct rhythms using the appropriate solfege syllables. We chant it in our section so that we all are on the same page with the rhythms and the notes. And we go over that multiple times to ensure that nobody has any difficulties or confusion about what's going on. And then by the time we're finished with that, we should be ready to sing. I give them a few minutes, they chant through the whole section, and then I play their starting notes, and we sing the music. That's pretty much it. So that's the process. It's, it's pretty cool and it's really fun to see it when it's successful and to see the students so committed to what they're doing and just given 100%. It's real fun. If you'd like to hear more about the process of learning music in choir, be sure to check out an upcoming feature video that will be published in the next few weeks. The concerns for global climate have been steadily rising and with a record-breaking number of temperatures this summer, June is the hottest it has ever been according to NASA's global temperature analysis. With the oceanic temperatures on the climb, tropical storms have been intense and frequent. Hillary was a rare and terrifying sight for California as it's their third tropical storm ever recorded. Though hurricanes are regular for Florida, Idalia was a Category 4 tropical storm with detrimental effects. And as of September 12th, Tropical Cyclone Lee, a Category 3 tropical storm, blew through a western Nova Scotia with 45 mile per hour winds. Former President Donald Trump has been indicted on four counts, two on federal charges and two on state charges. These four indictments include a total of 91 felony counts, 44 federal and 47 state charges. The grand jury hearing early this August concluded with Trump being indicted for conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstruction of an attempt to obstruct an official proceeding, conspiracy against rights, and conspiracy to defraud the United States. The former president's trial is to be held in March of next year. The class of 2024 put a new twist on the senior panoramic. Seniors spread out into four alphabetical sections on the field with each section forming a number in 2024. Seniors were surprised to see a drone flying over them as they looked into the sky ready to take the photo. The panoramic turned out great and was the first of many big moments for the class of 2024. And this has been the Walnut Weekly. Make sure to check out more of our student-created content on, the web on our website, whhsdbox.com. Fly high, Eagles, and we'll see you next time. Woo! Yay! Two.